crazy. So what do you consider yourself a Christian? I, I do consider myself a Christian. Um, yeah, since 21. Like a lot of people have been asking me, because you know I've been on Instagram and stuff a lot lately. Where you been at? What's been going on? I'm like, man, I've been getting my life together. Right, 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 right. Because I was a cold little crook. Right, 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 definitely. And I remember those days. Definitely. But, you know, God works. For God sure. Work and he do fast. Yeah, he work wonders. Uh, I don't know if you um, feel comfortable with me talking about this, but we joke about it all the time. But um, I remember at a point where you just gave up sex. For sure. You gave up sex. Um what was it for how long? I don't even remember. It was a long time. Ago. Uh, I remember. Um, what made you like? What were you at in your life when you when you just said like this? What I'm doing? Was it like were you battling certain demons? Like did you have a hobby? Like I mean a habit of just like running through females? Like what made you just stop? But I used to be scared to talk to women. So like um, when I started like talking to girls, I embraced it because I used to be super insecure. And I embraced it. Right. Like, so to give up sex, though, was honestly, like, and I guess I, I came to the point that Solomon was at. Like, I was just like, man, I had so much sex. Right. Like, I just want to see what my life is like with me finding out who I am. Focusing on you. And focusing on me. Like, and when you don't have sex, like, you start to see, like, oh, man, you start to hear your thoughts. You feel me? Like everything that you like, you really it really changed you because the person that you are with sex, like you're not that person without sex because you're not thinking, oh, let me move around here, let me go get this, let me holler at her. So now you going to it's crazy because now you go to you go now you go to events and you're mm-hmm. not hollering at girls. Right, 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 right. But you're doing your full little look though. But you just You feel yeah. me? And now you get to observe, you get to actually see like the culture of women, like it is really kind of creepy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. So you go into these events, fly, feeling yourself, and they holler that no female, no female. And this was before you was actually married and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. So do you feel it bettered you as a person? I mean, did you regret it? I don't regret it. I think it was probably one of the best times of my life. Right. right. I mean, I don't regret, like... And I'm talking about... We're not talking about six, seven months. This nigga went damn near four, years. five years, bro. Two years. Just solid, bro. Like, a few years. Damn. Yeah, but one minute... And he wasn't even in jail. That's the fuck. <laughs> nigga, you wasn't even in jail. That nigga... And that's a strong nigga, though, and bro. And I was like, in I'm college blessed. around girls. Throwing yeah. It. So, mind you, we used to always... Like, man, hell no, I don't want that shit. Bert got, Bert don't even want to fuck no bitch. Like, we, but, like, you know, as a nigga get older, you feel me? A nigga start realizing, like, nigga, that's some strong shit, bro. Like, no cap, bro. You did that. That's some strong ass shit, bro. I, I mean, like, it's crazy. Like, Very disciplined. To get into, like, because what I, it really, when I got saved, like, what I started seeing was, like, okay. Like, I started learning how my thoughts work. Right. When I wasn't, or when I was trying not to have sex, um, I walked in, it was a place called Little Africa at Sac State. Uh-huh. I, I had a girlfriend, like, we was in the process of breaking up. Like, we hadn't had sex. I was just started going to church. And um, I was in Little Africa, and everybody, and by, mind you, I'm like, man, I ain't having sex no more. But I ain't tell nobody. So, I'm... And all the girls walking by, they just happen to have on the biker shorts. On. Right, right. Well, he's just going to say biker shorts. All the girls walking by with biker shorts and everybody looking. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying not to look, but I'm trying to be cool with my partners and trying to talk. So they talk about it. So you feel me? At first, I'm like, all right, I ain't, you know, I'm trying not to have sex. So I push on. So, but now I'm thinking about it. I'm right. thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And then my girlfriend just happened to call me. And she making little small little remarks. Right. You feel me? So now I'm thinking about it, and I just now I got the opportunity to talk about it. Right. Ten minutes later, I'm at home having sex. You feel me? So I'm like, okay, if you want to stop doing stuff, you have to learn how to stop the thoughts before they start. Right. Because before before it all happens, you feel me? Before you know it, you're doing it. You thought about it, you talked about it, and now you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what really helped me was like, all right, like, 
I'm gonna stop. I'm, I gotta stop. I gotta stop the thought before it start. Right. Rearrange your thought process. Exactly. That's kind of hard though. For sure, and I like I can't really take all the credit. You know, it's Jesus. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? But like, that's what really I I, I can't even say I did it for that long without you feel me learning that and understanding how to train my thoughts. And that was the thing too, like why I pretty much disappeared. I literally became somebody different. Right. You feel me? Because I mean, again, like a lot of what we're taught, I'm saying I had to unlearn it to learn who I was to then put it back on. You know what I'm saying? And I, again, like we, I talk about, I always talk about the time that we was together every day that I, again, really appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned, I had forgot about West Oakland. I forgot about everything that I learned in West Oakland. I forgot about, again, the good game, the experiences, because I really tried to suppress all those just because a lot of the stuff we dealt with, you know what I'm saying? But when we start being together, like, I was reminded about how much I appreciated all of that stuff. Right. Because it made you who you are. It made me who I am right. to, to really represent West Oakland. Right, right, like, right. Because I wouldn't be who I am without West Oakland. Right. And we ain't no professionals, no professionals at this shit, man. We just doing this shit raw and uncut. So what y'all hear is what y'all get, bro. So period. We fucking with it though. Definitely. Definitely. All right, we know we didn't talk y'all ear off, but we wanna say thank you for coming back and listening to us. Them twenty five subscribers. You feel me? Tap in with us. Tap in with us, man. Next week we hope it's twenty six. Yeah, it's and me. Yeah, he- you know what the shh it is, man. Blood and Burp Podcast. We keeping this shit lit. This is our third episode, nigga. Grow with us. Watch us grow. Yeah, because what we don't want, or what y'all don't want, is when we get to 100,000, y'all gonna be like, I was one of the first ones there. And you yeah, didn't see you never subscribe, so like, or comment. Yeah, like and subscribe, man. Yeah, man. Like and subscribe. Matter of fact, the first hundred people who subscribe to this channel, I'm gonna follow y'all back on Instagram. So what y'all do is when y'all like and subscribe, nigga DM me on Instagram and be like, I like and subscribe to Blood and Bird Podcast, and I'm gonna follow you back. That's good. And then we're gonna pick ten out of that hundred for a uh, mystery bag from the Usalama Clothing Company. Usalama. Usalama. Ooh, that's. I know we don't got the time, but that was really a hard album. For sure. This is the Blood and Purr Podcast. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night.